Hey guys, I had a quick thought. I want to talk to you about something that the Lord has been dealing with me about. The question is, are you selfish? That's the big question. Because selfishness leads to a lot of problems. Here's what I mean by this. Two months ago, I was reevaluating my life, which I do every year, beginning of the year. I go through, what am I doing wrong? What am I not doing right? What am I not doing enough? I talk to my wife and we we try to set goals and we we, we do our best to, to reevaluate so that we're being good for our son. We're being good for each other. We're just fruitful, basically. And I sat down with my wife and I began to talk to her. In a, I'm an emotional being for the most part. Like, I, uh, if I get in the presence of the Lord, I'll cry. Like, period. But I, uh, I was sitting there and I was going to ask her a question because I've been reflecting on our, our life and, and those in our life our lives. <clears throat> and I was going to ask her a question and involuntarily, I just begin to get emotional in a, in a way I'm, I don't normally get. And it was an unexplained emotion because normally you have a thought before you get emotional. Like normally you have something that triggers the emotion that makes you emotional and uh, to the point of crying. And I was asking her a question about her grandfather and her grandfather was an amazing man. And he lived, he lived, <laughs> it was amazing. You know, he'd done things for the Lord. He'd done things with the Lord. Um, there was just so much that he had done and so much that he had sacrificed. And so I was going to ask her, and this is going to be straightforward. So for all of you that are a part of the family. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just, I'll just do it. No big deal. I'll just dive into it. Just take it as you want to. It's okay if you're mad at me. But I was asking her, why is it that he sold out? He was so committed to being with the Lord and serving him. He was doing, he was so committed to doing things that his family could see and they could follow after him. But yet, maybe one or two, maybe three of them, even remotely try to serve the Lord, but none of them serve the Lord in the manner he did. Sorry. Sorry. And it's untrue. And I was trying to ask her that question, but every time I would go to ask that question, I would get emotional. And I couldn't get it out. You know that emotion where like you start to dry heave or like you start to, uh, you start to cry, like, but you can't breathe. It was that same way. And I couldn't get the question out, but I also didn't know why I was feeling the way I was feeling. I couldn't figure out why I was so emotional, you know? And, uh, I, I started thinking about that the next day. I eventually got the question out, but I started thinking about that the next day. And, um, as I thought about it, I was like, Lord, why, why was I so emotional about what the question that I was trying to ask my wife, like what happened? Like, because I, I, nothing about that really triggered me in the moment. And the Lord said, the reason you were so emotional was because you were asking a question subconsciously that you didn't know basically you needed to be. And so the answer to the question was my wife's grandpa was, was pretty selfless when it comes to the things of God, because he loved the Lord and he loved the Lord more than anything, more than, than anything. And, and that meant sacrificing time with his family at times, but he loved the Lord more than anything. And, and in reality, he didn't lose his family. He showed them how to have a relationship with the Lord, but it's their, their choice to have one or not have one. And as the Lord began to deal with me, he said, Blake, you are selfish. 
and you're not as you're not selfless anymore. Because when you were selfless, you could see my hand in your life. You could see me moving. You could see me. You could see my hand basically d- directing where you would go. Because like I, on the weekends, I would be, I would go, and I would be knocking doors. And like I love the Lord so much that I would sacrifice my teenage years to go knocking doors and try to reach people. I know that sounds like it's a. It's not like, oh, it's not a big deal. But yeah, when I was a teenager, I would not go hang out with people just to go do the work of the Lord or clean the church or to to be there for people and to go pray for people and I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I, I wasn't experienced enough. I didn't know enough, but yet I would sacrifice everything to say, okay, Lord, I love you. What do you have for me? What do you want for me? Where do you want me to go? And my prayers around that time, in that time frame was, God, if I walk by somebody that's hurting, let me feel that. Let me feel what they feel so that I can be able to be your hands and your feet and your mouthpiece, basically. And that was my prayers. I was selfless, man. I would, I didn't care. I would get out of the car. I would go talk to people or pray for people, whatever. I was just, it, didn't, it wasn't about me. And so I began to think about that a lot today. And the scripture came to my mind. And it's Ephesians 2. Hold on. No, that's, that's not true. See you. And I'm starting with verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. He was made in the likeness of men. And I remember a long time ago, the reason this scripture come to me, because the Lord brought this to my memory today, or actually last night, I was, I remember getting ready to preach one night at at the church I attended. And I started reading Philippians 2. And for the very first time in my entire life, I remember I was reading that verse and I just started weeping. And I didn't know why. I did I'm emotional right now for some reason. But I didn't know why I was weeping. It's the first time I ever wept over the scripture. And I didn't really understand until I started dissecting it. And then Years later, I'm sitting in my in my kitchen with my wife, talking to her, asking her questions. And I involuntarily started weeping, and it had to do with me being a servant. So the question that I have is: Are you selfish? Start doing some uh, some digging, because it could be being selfish could be the reason why you don't have friends being selfish could be the reason why you're you're not seeing the hand of god in your life the way you want to and being selfish could be the reason why all of your relationships are are falling apart or your life could be falling apart because god never intended for us to be all about ourselves he intended for us to be selfless and to prefer our brothers and to esteem ourselves lower than what we are Yeah, we're supposed to be sons and daughters, but yet every one of us are supposed to be servants. Every one of us. So, I love you guys. Let's do some homework. Check and see if we're selfish. Who knows? It could be the reason why your life isn't as full as it should be. Love you guys.